Hi everybody and uh, welcome to um, uh, this week's webinar uh, where I'll be talking about seven steps to seven figure breakthroughs. Now um, as always before I start I see there's a lot of familiar uh, familiar names um, signed up to this webinar so first of all thank you very much guys for um, taking time out of your busy schedules and um, and attending my webinar. <coughs> I'm literally just got back from Las Vegas myself yesterday slightly jet lagged but um, uh, ready to go as always uh, if you can just give me a quick uh, yes in the chat box if you can hear me clearly and you can hear my voice clearly before we begin just a quick yes in the chat box brilliant excellent yes okay <clears throat> excellent right let's uh, let's begin um, what I want to cover in this webinar is basically um, what I call seven steps to seven figure breakthroughs now as most of you know, if you've been following me on Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, social media, uh, it's been it's been a phenomenal few years, and uh, you know I'm always about, I'm all about breakthroughs. Okay, I'm all about creating breakthroughs and finding breakthroughs, especially when I'm working with clients, for example, or especially when I'm working with my team. As you know, I, I train a team of JV brokers around the world, and this is what we tend to do. And it's been a, an amazing journey. You know, recently we've had a few brokers in the team um, hit seven figure deals which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so using a lot of the coaching that I've been training um, my uh, team and also some of my clients, <clears throat> we've been seeing some phenomenal breakthroughs. So what I want to touch upon really in this uh, um, uh, webinar is just to go through uh, some of the uh, breakthroughs that I've had over the last sort of uh, few years in my journey. And also, you know, I want you to make lots of notes, okay, because this is going to be uh, applicable to everyone who's on this webinar. Um, no matter if you're a small business or a large business, a solopreneur um, or a CEO, these uh, fundamentals that I'm going to be uh, teaching today is, uh, is what I constantly use and constantly instill in not only my team um, and also my clients as well to help them with uh, breakthroughs, significantly especially seven-figure breakthroughs, okay, because, um, uh, you know, from the experience that we've all had uh, over the last sort of two, three years, there is a phenomenal amounts of opportunities out there especially for those of you guys who are already running a six-figure business and want to take it to seven figures, um, and those of you running a low six figures who want to take it to, to, to high six figures. Most people like to aim for a seven-figure business, and this is highly achievable. Let me tell you right now, in uh, the world we are right now, especially with technology and the opportunities around us, um, you can definitely achieve seven figures within your business. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping by the end of this webinar, you'll be able to take away with you uh, some of those elements that will really, really help you uh, lift your business, build your business, and uh, and and strive, and actually aim uh, and achieve, um, you know, a very successful seven-figure business. Um, I know there's some of you on this webinar, and I can see some of your names today. Um, I'm not going to call you out, but I know some of you actually have a seven-figure business. Some of the, the people I already know actually have got one or two or three of my clients on this webinar as well. And there's uh, some other of you who, others of you who I've already met personally and uh, are doing successfully well and um, uh, want to take the business further uh, and hit that hit those seven figures so um, <clears throat> further ado let's move forward and uh, let's uh, let's begin okay first of all a brief introduction uh, to myself there are a couple of of, uh, of new people on this webinar I can see some names and you are probably thinking you know who the hell is uh, Sahel Khan so just a quick uh, a brief introduction um, if most of you know a guy called Jay Abraham one of my mentors um, he partnered up with a guy called Mark Goldman and Mark Goldman uh, has quoted me as a true rags to riches super success story, just like Andrew Carnegie. Uh, another uh, very well known marketer, Jeff Mills, uh, gave me the name uh, The Master Connector. I've achieved over $16 million using joint ventures, and I'm going to take you through step by step how I've done that. I always, um, uh, if most of you, uh, apologies if you've been on any of my webinars before and you've seen me tell my story, but it's it's fundamentally important to find out exactly where I've come from and how I have achieved some of the uh, the seven-figure breakthroughs um, that I have. And with that, I want you to take plenty of notes because fundamentally, um, again and again, Everyone, uh, well, most people I know, have walked away from uh, uh, all of my sessions with uh, some amazing ideas, and 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 people have put them into action. And I have some people who have actually achieved six or seven figures just by listening to one of my presentations. So uh, it, this is going to be gold, guys, absolutely gold for you. <clears throat> I'm an international speaker. Uh, I normally charge uh, five thousand dollars a keynote speech. Uh, I don't do much keynote speaking anymore. I mostly do uh, platform speaking. 
um, and 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 I, and I literally speak around the world. If most of you see my pictures and uh, most of the events that I, I travel to, actually, I'm, I'm off to Norway uh, this weekend, and then um, uh, the uh, month after, I'm in Chicago uh, speaking alongside um, uh, Brendan Bouchard, which is um, he, one of my um, one of my uh, one of my I'm one of his biggest fans. So that's going to be an an amazing achievement for me. Uh, and I'm going to take you through exactly how I do this. Okay, so you can you can um, uh, you can steal my strategies. I'm the only Brit ever, ever to be invited to speak about JVs in the U.S. There is no other person uh, that, uh, that, that comes into the U.S. from outside to speak about joint ventures, mainly because there's not many experts in the world that speak on that topic. Um, there's probably about four or five of us in the world, and I'm, I would say I'm in the top two, three. Um, number one, of course, being Jay Abraham. Um, I'm also the founder of MyBrokeringBusiness.com. This is a very successful venture that I launched um, almost two years ago now. And we've trained um, just over 30 uh, JV brokers. This is a uh, my signature 10 and 20 thousand dollar program um, that I teach. I'm also one of the top joint venture experts in the world. This is what I primarily do. I practice what I preach, and um, most of you see most of the breakthroughs that I've had relate around um, leverage um, and around joint ventures, and, and it, it's an amazing skill to have. I'm also the author of uh, Guerrilla Marketing and Joint Ventures with Jay Conrad Levison. So this is my first published book. Uh, I just signed the agreement uh, a few, uh, literally a few weeks ago, and uh, I'm just uh, getting the first draft finished. And that's going to be a book which you'll see in all the bookshops around the world. And fingers crossed, hopefully that will be able to to help most of you move forward and, and be very successful in in your current business. Okay, so. Um, I want to talk about my story first of all. This is very important. I want to lay the foundation, the grounding, to show you that um, you know anyone can achieve what I've achieved. I have achieved. Okay, um, seven-figure breakthroughs. There is a certain trait to people who become very successful, and uh, you'll learn that today. And I'll teach you that. I'll teach you exactly what you need to know, um, and how you need to adapt, and how you need to think um, if you want to take yourself to the next level. Um, literally, just about. I'd say an hour ago, I had a conversation with someone based in Cyprus. Um, uh, the conversation was around thinking big, okay? And um, she was at a level where she was making good money. She had some good high-level programs, but she she just she just couldn't get that seven-figure breakthrough. So we had a conversation on the phone, and what I'm going to teach you today, um, going through the seven steps, um, is exactly uh, what I put her through to um, to give her the ability to be able to um, hone in and basically uh, focus on what she needed to do to break that seven-figure mark, okay? So uh, this, is, this is myself. Obviously, this is a, a picture that was taken in 2006 uh, when I successfully built. Actually, it wasn't a seven-figure. It was actually an eight-figure business, so I need to really change this slide. So it was basically an eight-figure business um, that I built using Just Joint Ventures, and that, that business was phenomenal, and I'm going to take you through um, some, of the, uh, some of the breakthroughs that, that I had while building that business, and um, uh, it's things that you can easily copy, and I want you to write these down because it's very, very important. Um, and it's things that you can apply as soon as you're you're off this webinar. You can go and uh, go and apply it. And then, obviously, in 2008, um, during the recession, I lost everything. Uh, I lost the beautiful house I lived in, the the cars, the Ferrari, the Porsche, and uh, went from being a multi-millionaire to totally broke. So I ended up losing everything. And then in 2009, um, I set myself a challenge. Uh, basically, my cha the challenge was to make a million pounds in in um, in 12 months, in one year. And I, I managed to close a, a million pound deal in 30 days, um, which was actually quite phenomenal. So I'm just going to take you through um, some of the steps that I've gone through, uh, and then after this, we'll cover the seven steps that um, you know the universal steps that um, uh, I think you know. Well, I believe anyone listening on this webinar can apply and become as successful as I am, and obviously some of my clients and my, and my team. So just to, uh, just to start off, I, uh, um, I, I wasn't always, um, uh, uh, well, I, I, how should I put it? Um, I originally started off um, wanting a career, okay? Uh, I studied to be an accountant. Uh, I worked uh, as an accountant in the tax division of one of the top five accountancy firms in, in the UK, but I but I was there for a very short space of time. Um, I spent most of my time there helping other people how to use computers, PCs, and the internet. But for me, it was very strange. Um, I always felt myself that there must be something bigger than what I'm doing. Uh, I obviously studied very hard, um, became an accountant, and, and that is something that, that my, uh, my parents wanted me to uh, obviously pursue. 
but it just didn't feel right. Um, so while I was at this firm, uh, I decided basically to to leave and pursue um, uh, pursue other ideas. Now at that time, I had an interest in using computers and the internet, so I decided to do a a masters in um, international business and technology. So while studying, I wrote a thesis um, uh, called uh, The Impact of the Internet on the Manufacturing Industry because back then, in 96, 97, the internet was at its infancy and it was quite interesting to see the impact that it would have on uh, the future of manufacturing and obviously, as you know today, it has affected manufacturing um, uh, quite a lot. And I produced a thesis and my professor basically posted my thesis online without my knowledge and I started to get a lot of phone calls, uh, a lot of emails from venture capital firms, uh, dot com companies um, and it was it was quite strange, you know, coming straight out of uh, uh, finishing my masters I had all these companies contacting me asking me, Mr. Hell, we've read your thesis with great interest, we'd really be interested in uh, finding out more about this thing called the internet and how we can actually make money using the internet. So there I was, um, uh, you know, sitting uh, on the board of, of uh, many companies as a consultant, actually showing them how to use the internet. And for me, it was quite a phenomenal time, um, uh, to be honest with you. You know, for me, it was like, wow, you know, coming straight out of studying and now sitting, uh, you know, with all these uh, companies, dot-com companies. And uh, one of my first clients was a company called QVC, qvc.com, who, as you know, is a, a, one of the biggest shopping channels uh, in the world. Um, and something I did in the early stages, uh, and this is something that I, I, do, I do consistently today, um, I went out and created a one-page website, and uh, created some computer training courses as PDF files, and um, attached a, a shopping cart to them. So basically I created a one-page website uh, where people could go to and uh, download computer courses via a zip file which had PDFs in them, and pay for them, and it was like a digital download site, a very early, straightforward e-commerce site. And um, it was quite amazing. Uh, Google launched in '98, and as soon as we launched this uh, site, we were we started making money instantly. I mean, in our first month, I think we cleared like um, something like four thousand pounds in in the first month, and uh, it was like clockwork. It was uh, it was an amazing online uh, uh, you know it was an online website making money. So we used to we used to sh uh, take this as a showcase to show our clients that look, we know how to make money online as internet consultants. We know how e-commerce works and this is what we're currently doing, and this is one of our own pet projects. So it's a phenomenal time, um, you know, 90, uh, 98, uh, 99, we had clients paying us anywhere between, uh, you know, uh, 25,000 and, and 40,000 pounds for projects, which is roughly about 30 to 50,000 dollars per project. And it was an amazing time, a lot of companies were spending money, there was a dot-com boom, and uh, it was actually quite phenomenal. And then, uh, basically, in 2000, um, we had the, the dot-com bubble burst, and we also had Y2K, so we had a double whammy. Uh, we lost the majority of our clients, uh, no one wanted to spend money anymore on internet marketing, and basically, as consultants, as computer consultants, you know, we, we had a bad name, because obviously, uh, we, were to, we, we were the cause of Y2K. So early 2000, I thought to myself, you know, um, we've, what, what do we do now? You know, we are, um, the market's turned against us. And um, uh, where do we go now? So again, guys, you know this relates to things that are going on right now. You know, um, uh, there's things outside outside of your business that you can't control. Okay, but then you need to look in in another direction. Uh, and this is a very this is a, you know a very important lesson. Um, there's always opportunities around you, but you have to try and integrate and look at other areas. So um, I remember we sat down and uh, we spoke about what do we do now in terms of there's no consultancy work. But we had this little um, we had this little computer training website turning over four or five thousand uh, pounds a month, roughly about seven thousand dollars. And we thought, you know what? Let's concentrate on building this business and make it into a real business because you know it, it was we made profit from day one. So then we decided, okay, we're going to try and build this business and try and create a bigger business out of it. So there was an opportunity staring us in the face, really, um, considering what we were currently doing to bring in an income and what we had available to us as really an asset that could be leveraged. So I remember in early 2000, I came across um, a book uh, called um, uh, How to Get Everything You Can Out of All You've Got, and you really want to write this down. It's by, uh, obviously, um, a legend, Jay Abraham, and um, uh, absolutely phenomenal book, the, the book that actually got me started into, uh, into joint ventures and, uh, and strategic marketing. 
Uh, and in the book, Jay, uh, Jay spoke about um, something called joint ventures and strategic alliances. And he spoke that um, you could actually use joint ventures to basically access uh, anyone's um, uh, list or not pay for marketing and ad advertising and leverage someone else's uh, marketing and advertising that they're already doing and literally get it for free. So I decided to go out and try this, um, uh, this, this, this strategy of joint ventures. And the first company I approached was a... Um, it was a recruitment consultancy, one of the biggest recruitment consultancies in Europe. Now, here's the thing. Here's another lesson to learn. Right now, where we are in this current economy, there's more opportunities than ever. Okay, People uh, complain about there's no money in the economy, no one's spending any money. But here's the thing. There's more opportunities right now because the bigger companies are looking at ways to increase their revenue, increase their profits, and find alternative uh, streams of revenue and profit, okay? So people like us, people in a position where we're smaller businesses, uh, we can now approach bigger companies and do deals, okay? They're more open to do, doing deals in, 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 in the current economy because everyone's trying to create um, additional revenue and profit in the economy or in their business. So what I decided to do, was I approached the largest recruitment uh, uh, IT recruitment consultancy in Europe with a proposition, and my proposition was simple. It was this: it was um, if I could help, if I could increase, um, if I could create an additional profit or revenue uh, profit or revenue stream for you without increasing your overheads, would you be interested? So it was a simple email I sent out. Got an email back. Um, they were intrigued to find out how I would do this. And I got a um, I got a, a an appointment to come and see them at their at their offices. Their offices were in Regent Street. They had a really nice office uh, head office in Regent Street in London, Central London. And I was there at the meeting. Four or five um, uh, people sitting at the table. And the first question they asked me was, "So, how could you help us increase our or in, you know create an additional profit uh, 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 profit stream or income stream without increasing our overheads?" So I literally asked them, "Look, it's quite simple. It's called a joint venture." Now here's the thing. First of all, how many people do you have on your database? And they said we have like you know 150,000 IT professionals. And I, and then I said, okay, so what are you currently doing right now to promote to them? And they said, well, we sent out a newsletter every fortnight. And I said, what do you put in the newsletter? They said we we only promote jobs. You know what jobs are available, and we give them an update on the jobs in the marketplace. So I said, look, right now the economy is at a downturn, especially the tech sector. When the dot com bubble burst and we had Y2K. No one was um, hiring um, anyone to do with uh, technology. So I said, look, right now you, you rely on that. Your income is reliant on that. There's no jobs out there. So I've got a proposition for you. If you, um, if you um, promote my or endorse my computer training courses in your newsletter every fortnight to your list, I'll give you uh, a link. Where we basically set up an affiliate um, program for them. We will uh, we'll give you a link to promote our courses. And when the newsletter goes out, anyone who purchases a course by going to our website will give you a percentage of the sales. So this was actually phenomenal. They agreed, and it was, it was amazing. This was the first big joint venture that I ever did. And remember this, guys. This company ne didn't know who I was. Nowadays, it's different. We've got LinkedIn, social media, Facebook. You know, Clients will go and do, do their due diligence on me. They find who I am. They, they see a lot of uh, videos. They see a lot of testimonials. Um, they see a lot of um, information about me out there, and they make a decision to work with me or not. But when I first started, there was, you know, they knew they didn't know who I was. Okay, so so this is something that that most of you guys can actually go and do. Um, you don't have to have that sort of, uh, you know, a stellar reputation um, uh, that I have uh, right now. So uh, I, so this is what we did. We 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 did the deal with them. Uh, they sent the newsletter, and it was phenomenal. You know, the first year. Of uh, of our consultancy when we were showing the um, the computer training website as a as a as a pet project, we did close to sort of um, you know a seventy eighty thousand uh, turnover in the in the first year. In the second year, our turnover went up from around about eighty thousand pounds to just under uh, just under three hundred thousand. So you know that uh, you know that's about a hundred thousand dollars to about four hundred from a hundred to four hundred thousand dollars. So the increase was phenomenal. And for me, it was wow. This is this is this is quite cool. Um, uh, you know, this joint venture has put us onto another level. So that was the first breakthrough I had. The first breakthrough was obviously you know finding out about joint ventures and approaching this company. Now, fast forward to 2000 and uh, fast forward to 2002. The whole industry changed again, and this is the same as in your business. You know, there's there's a lot of competition coming from everywhere, especially um, companies that are launching new technology, for example. And in 2002. 
um, we had uh, competitors in the marketplace who were now doing video based training. Remember we were just doing PDF based training and we needed to basically uh, evolve as a company. We wanted to do more corporate sales um, but the problem we had was um, we couldn't compete with these companies because most of these companies uh, that we looked at were all doing um, uh, they're all doing video based training. So I went out to look at uh, how much it would cost to create video based training and it was costing us around $10,000 per hour of video training. So at this time it was like too expensive, we couldn't afford it, uh, it would have cost us, you know, competitors had over 100 titles, that would have cost us uh, at least six, seven figures to create that. So I thought to myself, what do we do? So I, again I went back to the book and Jay spoke about something called licensing. So then um, I had another breakthrough. I thought to myself, you know what, we can go down the licensing route. Um, we can acquire licensing rights to other people's uh, content and sell it as our own. So I approached a company in America and uh, they had the exactly same content that we wanted. They had 150 titles and I approached them and said, we'd like to license your uh, videos, your training videos in the UK and we'd like to white label them under our own brand, which basically nowadays that it's called private label rights. In the corporate space, it's called white labeling. So we approached this company and the company said, that's fine, we can do that, but it's going to cost you $100,000 for a license. Now, here's the thing. I didn't want to pay $100,000 for a license, okay? So I had to figure out a way around it. So what I said to them was, you know, I'd like to come out and speak to you and sit down and see if we can work out a deal. So I jumped on a plane, flew to Florida, a place called Clearwater, and um, I sat down with the, the CEO of this company. And the CEO of this company was very, very savvy um, uh, um, uh, lady CEO, uh, female CEO, and um, one thing I noticed when I sat in her office was um, looking at the bookshelf, is that she had the same books, exactly the same books that I was into, Dan Kennedy for example, Joe Vitale, and she also had the book about a book by Jay Abraham, so it made my job easier to sit and negotiate with her. And uh, I managed to negotiate a deal with her where I would give her a minimum commitment every month of $10,000, and she would let me have the uh, license to the training, uh, training uh, to the actual training uh, content. So I walked away from this meeting, um, uh, and uh, and now we, as a company, we were now supplying video-based training. And we had 150, 160 titles, and that took the business to seven figures. Okay, that that investment. What did it cost me? Ten thousand dollars. Okay, from ten thousand dollar investment, we were now doing seven figures. So that was quite a breakthrough, which means we didn't have to do all the work ourselves. We didn't have to reinvent the wheel. We just went out and acquired, acquired the resources somebody, uh, somebody else had to get us to basically get to seven figures. So now fast forward to 2006, where you can see the current picture right now. Um, I approached a, uh, a very large company, um, uh, a, actually a 100, uh, 100 million IT group, which is about $160 million um, uh, uh, worth. And uh, I approached them with the same proposition. You know, if I could increase your... Um, uh, your, if I can create an additional profit and revenue stream for you without increasing your overhead, would you be interested? So this company basically turned around and said, you know what, definitely, you know, come and speak to us and we would like to find out more about how you could achieve this. So I got to this company, uh, and this company is a very successful company, um, uh, beautiful glass building, they had an, a penthouse office uh, 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 upstairs, spectacular panoramic views. And I sat in this uh, meeting with the chairman and the CEO. The, the chairman was, it was a, a family-run business. Uh, the CEO and the chairman, the chairman was his son. And the chairman was his father and the CEO was his son. And I got into the meeting, sat there. I did my normal pitch I do all the time when it comes to JVs. Um, 10, 15 minutes into my pitch, I got stopped. Uh, the CEO got up and said, Sahel, we're not really interested in, um, in, 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 in buying your, uh, we're not really interested in doing a deal with you. Um, they basically turned around and said, we're interested in buying your business. So there I was thinking, oh, you know, we, this is a bit early for us. We had an exit strategy a couple of years down the line. And by then I had two more business partners. So I, I know what decision I would have made today. But at that time, I made a decision to um, basically sell the business, part cash, part equity. So we did the deal in 2006. Um, it was part cash, part equity. Uh, I had equity in the 100 million uh, IT group, sat on the board of 100 million IT group. My shares were worth roughly about 16, uh, 16 million dollars, 10 million pounds, and we were successful. You know, we were all now all now multi-millionaires, and um, that was 2006. Uh, 2007, I stepped down as managing director and doubled the business. Why? Because now instead of working in the business, I was working on the business. Okay, 
my exit strategy was 2008. I was going to work the business, then uh, um, exit at 2008, exit my shares, and sit somewhere on some desert island with a laptop and, and just chill out for, the, for, for a couple of years. But obviously, as you know, most things don't always happen to plan. In 2008, that business that uh, obviously acquired my company went bust. They'd been around for 25 years. They obviously uh, were, uh, were buying loads of companies up, and it got to a stage where most of the, most of the acquisitions weren't really working for them. Uh, they acquired my business because we were a corporate-based uh, company. They were consumer-based, and obviously they wanted to amalgamate our company into the group. So in 2008, um, the, the, the group company went bust, uh, and in turn left my company uh, to, go, uh, to go under as well. Um, but the, the main thing is we, the, the group company had loads of debts, and because we signed guarantees with the bank, uh, the banks came after us. Um, it was a couple of million pounds uh, worth of debt, and uh, we, we were basically responsible because we, were, we, we signed um, uh, guarantees with the bank, which I, I definitely advise people not to do uh, at all. Um, and that was it. Banks came after us, ended up liquidating most of my assets. The house went, the cars and I was totally broke. So the only thing I had really was um, uh, my old bedroom was still there at my uh, at my mum's place. Um, the only thing that survived. Um, so I ended up moving back home. And the funny thing is my mum, uh, bless her, she kept my old bedroom the same as it was when I left all those many years ago. So it looks like my mum had some intuition there that I would eventually come back home. So there I was, um, back home, totally broke. And at that time, I, I, I realized something, you know, uh, and actually I realized today, you know, when I speak on stage a lot and I see people in the audience and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, very, um, I'm very fearful sometimes because, you know, we have a lot of speakers on stage who sell, sometimes sell good things and sometimes sell not so good things. And um, I, I, can, I can connect with the audience because some of them are in survival mode. You know, some of them need uh, that sort of, that option, or they, they need that sort of breakthrough in their lives to push their business forward or push their personal life forward. So I, I totally understand and I, I can connect with people on that level. So there I was, um, you know, I was totally broke. And at that time it's very hard because you have, you have, um, when you live, a, when you, when you have that multimillionaire lifestyle or when you are a multimillionaire, you have a lot of expenses and you have a different level of, of living. When that gets, when the income gets taken away from you and the money, you're still, you know, you, you're, you're still, you still have bills to pay. You still have things that need to be done and it is very very difficult uh, and it's uh, hence being a survival mode so um, I went through a, a, of a, a bout of depression and I decided to um, to to leave everything behind and go on a spiritual journey for me it was very important to find out what I would do next in my life you know I built a successful business previously I lived the millionaire lifestyle I've done I did everything you know I I've driven uh, fancy cars I've lived in big mansions you know we even had the group even had a private jet so we've done all that, you know, I've done all that in my life. What's the next thing that I want to do right now? So I thought to myself, you know, I could go out there and probably do some voluntary work or do something that doesn't involve business. But obviously I was wrong. Um, a few weeks into my spiritual journey, I came straight back realizing that, you know, once an entrepreneur, always an entrepreneur. And this is something that, I'll, uh, that I, I'm destined to do, I guess. So I came back uh, fresh with my, uh, for my next challenge, thinking to myself, okay, what do I do right now? And where do I go from here? So I still remember that day. Uh, I came back home and my mother sat me down. She said to me, "So, hell, what are you going to do right? What are you going to do now in your life?" And I said to my mother that when you're at the bottom uh, on the ground, there's only one way you can go, and that's up. So I said, "I have to go up. You know, I can't go back. I can't go any lower than I already am." And uh, you know, my my mother said to me that you know, at, even though you don't have, you know, the money in your wallet, the money in your bank, all these cars and houses or whatever, she goes, "You've got one thing." that you'll always have and that's in your brain that's your mindset um, you always have had a success mindset and your mindset is is the thing that will get you back to uh, to where you were previously so with that I sat down racking my brains thinking okay what do I need to do I need a breakthrough here you know what do I do so I went out to uh, seminars as you do uh, and I watched speakers speaking and you know speakers were talking about you know um, do my program you can make a million pounds you know in in one one year in 12 months you can make a million pounds you know in, in, in 12 days you can make a million pounds in 12 hours million pounds in 12 seconds you know I, and after all that I was still broke so I thought to myself you know I've got to focus I've got to look at where my strengths are and it hit me in the face it was joint ventures you know I set up a business previously 
and I, I took it to uh, 16 million dollars, eight figures, um, uh, that business. I took it to eight figures by doing nothing but joint ventures. Okay, so I thought, you know what, this is the route. I have to try and get back on my feet and by doing joint ventures. So uh, in 2009, uh, I set myself a challenge uh, to make um, uh, to make a million pounds in 12 months. Basically, the idea behind that was I would do you know four or five uh, uh, joint ventures, each of them one, you know between two, roughly 200k, and you know I'd make a million pounds in 12 months. So it wasn't it wasn't a jackpot, uh, uh, a push button uh, thing. I was going to literally do a couple of large projects uh, and make a million pounds. But uh, but I actually, I managed to achieve that in 30 days with just one project. And, and this is quite phenomenal. And I'm going to take you through step by step now exactly how I did that. And what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to, to write uh, down, um, you know, when I'm, when I'm talking. Um, when I'm talking, oh, sorry, I think my voice just went out, my volume went out there. Okay, so I'm going to write, uh, I want you to write down step by step. And I'm going to take you through step by step exactly how, I, how I've done that. So as always, guys, there are opportunities everywhere, okay? And um, I always spot opportunities. This is something that I teach all my brokers. You know, when they walk away from any sort of training program that I do, um, they uh, your brain is loaded with opportunities. You walk away, and as soon as you get out of the building or wherever you are, whether you're on one of my retreats or you're on one of my masterminds or you're one of my JV brokering programs, you will develop that sort of mindset where you can quickly spot opportunities. Uh, and and it, it'll make you it'll make you go crazy because you know as some of my brokers might tell you and some of my clients there's too many opportunities out there for just one person to do. Um, so uh, I was reading the a national newspaper called the uh, the Mail on Sunday, and I came across a, a one page ad for a book. The book was called How to Use Your PC in Two Hours, and um, it was a, a book for um, you know older people for uh, the baby boomer uh, or silver surfer generation. And it wasn't the book that was that caught my eye. At the bottom of the book, it said 400,000 copies sold. So I thought to myself, wow, this is interesting. This book has sold 400,000 copies. I wonder if, uh, if they had, uh, you know, if they do a deal or if there's an opportunity for to do, to do a JV or so, of some sort. And as you know, my background was video-based training, right? Now, I uh, contacted them and I said, you know, the book is great. And I actually bought a copy of the book to have a look at. And I said to them, my uncle, I bought the book for my uncle. He's more visual. Now, do you have a video version of the book? And guess what they said? They said no. I said, well, you know, I have a video version of the book. Would you be interested in supplying that to your existing customers and probably uh, upselling that to them? And they said, yes, we would love to see it. And actually, I didn't have it. I just pitched it on the, on the phone. And I said, look, I'd rather come over and see you guys, and I'll bring it with me, and we can, uh, we can have a discussion. So I managed to bag a meeting with this company, very successful company, direct mail company, um, doing over $25 million turnover, $40, $40 million. And that's what they do. They're a direct mail company. So I, was, I went to the meeting. I met the CEO. The first thing he said to me was, to hell. So do you have this uh, DVD I can look at? And I was like, um, you know, I've actually, I was, I was in such a hurry that I left it at home on my office desk, and um, which obviously was a lie. Um, but I actually told that to the CEO. The CEO said, look, here's the thing. We are interested in doing a deal with you, and it could be something that we could upsell to our existing customers, but I need to get a copy of it to evaluate it. Can you get me a copy within the next five to seven days? I said yes. And he said, great. Um, I look forward to seeing it. So I left the meeting thinking, oh crap, you know, I, they want to do a deal, but I don't have, um, uh, I don't have the actual uh, DVD. Now here's something I'm going to teach you guys today that I teach on my high-level programs. I'm going to let you into a secret. Um, when you do JVs, if you want to be successful at doing JVs, it's all about the distribution first. It's not about going out finding a product. It's about finding someone where you can control the asset, okay? The asset here being they have a distribution list. Uh, they're willing to let me share that, but as long as I bring them a product, okay? So that's that's a real key thing, and that's that's that was a significant breakthrough for me uh, to always be able to do seven-figure deals and 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 do seven-figure uh, ventures. What was I would control the asset, okay? And and I'll talk more about that later on, exactly how I'm doing that now as well. So uh, I went out looking for a DVD. I went to Office Max, Staples, Office World. And I saw DVDs in there that people were they were selling. I contacted the company and said, "I've got a I've got a client. 
I think we can sell a couple of thousand units. Would you be interested in uh, giving me a good price for them and uh, preferably uh, a white label, white labeling? They said they couldn't do it. They said the best they could give me is 30%. I said, well, that's not really good enough. Plus, considering that you know a DVD costs you like 50 cents and you've actually sold so many of them, I'm sure you ma you're making pure profit on that. So I left that and I thought, you know, I can't waste my time with these companies. I don't understand how JVs work. So I went to uh, a, a, a website called elance.com, which is at E-L-A-N-C-E.com. And I actually posted a project on there. I said, I've got this book. I want someone to uh, create a video course based on the book. I uh, put the project up and people started bidding on the project. Uh, and I, I ended up paying $500 for a, a DVD based on the book. Now, when I took the book back to the company, they loved it. They loved it so much. The CEO said, wow, I can't believe that this uh, book is just like, um, uh, no, this DVD uh, is just like the book. And I was like, well, you know, my team have been up for like a couple of days working on this when actually I out outsourced it. So they loved it so much. And the, uh, the CEO said, you know what, we, we'd love to do some more. And I said, look, let's get this one out the door first and see how it goes. So I sat down with the CEO and I said, okay, look, out of the 400,000 people on your list who have bought the book, how many of them do you think will buy a, uh, we can upsell to a DVD? And he said, well, I, he said, I think within the next 12 to 18 months, definitely 50% of them will buy the DVD. So I go, okay, cool. That's 200,000 uh, people. Then we started working on my commission. And um, the uh, direct mail company are very similar to QVC. They work on a points basis. So they give you a real small percentage. I said, look, here's what I want to do. How much do you want to sell it for? And they said, well, we, we want to sell it for like 30 pounds, 25 pounds. I said, look, 25 pounds if you want to sell it for give me five pounds for everyone you sell uh, but I don't want to do anything I'll give you a license and you do the distribution you do the duplication you do the promotion and everything and packaging and I'll just take five pound cut for each one so let's calculate that first of all 200,000 uh, times five pounds that's a million pounds okay so this deal that I signed with the company uh, was a million pound deal um, and when I went back to uh, sign the agreement on the agreement, it said that I had access to 400,000 customers. But before I got the CEO to sign it, he said, Sahel, this is so good that, you know what, if this works out really well, I'd love to roll this out to my whole database. I asked him how big his database was. He said 4.2 million customers. So when you hear me talk about how I went from zero to 4 million customers, that is how I did it. And uh, I quickly went back, changed the agreement to give me access to the 4.2 million customers. And, and today... I'm one of their JV managers, and I help them bring products in from the U.S. Um, into uh, distribution into their database. So if any of you guys are based in the U.S. and you have a really good product, as long as it's a proven, tested product and has good copy, uh, I'll definitely look at it, and uh, I'll forward it on to them if they're interested in uh, uh, selling it through their distribution channel. So that was the deal done, and it actually took us 18 months. Um, actually took us 18 months to do this JV because it was a big company. And um, uh, I, I ended up doing seven figures on that. So I want to show you now, step by step, exactly how I did it. So it's something that you guys can easily duplicate. So let's look at the, uh, the seven-figure joint venture. I found a list of 400,000 buyers and contacted the company with a JV proposal without the product. Okay. I ended up using elance.com to create a complimentary product for just $500. I introduced and licensed the product to the list owner, uh, making five pounds per unit sold without handling any fulfillment. Okay, I just gave them the license and they paid me five pounds per each unit sold. Over 18 months, we sold just over 201,462 units and I collected just over a million pounds as my JV commission. So, so, so looking at this, look at some of the breakthroughs that I've had during my period of building my own business. But not only that, with this here as well, I've had Significant breakthroughs since. Since I did this JV back in 2009, um, over the past years, if you've been following me, I've had some similar similar breakthroughs, and we've created some uh, some phenomenal adventures and projects. I, I want to show you now. I want to take you through now. Um, uh, type in the chat box if you th if you think that's a really cool joint venture. Um, I'd love to hear your um, your thoughts on that. And type also in the in the chat box. Let me know if this is something that you'd love to duplicate. Okay. And I would love you to guys to go out there and do this. Okay. Angela says, uh, wow, really, really cool. I'd love to do that. Uh, Jeff said, that would be ideal in my business right now. I'm looking for a breakthrough like that. Um, 
May says, uh, very interesting. When is your next JV program? Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Malcolm says, I'd like to do five of those a year. Uh, Peter says, um, I'm scribbling away. Uh, Ruth says, uh, hi Ruth, by the way. Uh, Ruth says, I think it's brilliant having the courage to visualize the JV product and sell it before creation. Yes, Ruth, this is interesting because a lot of people do this, you know, and uh, this is an old um, strategy when people used to create coaching programs. They used to go out and they used to pitch the coaching program and sell it before creating it. Okay, so once the coaching program was sold and you had people committed, then you could go and create the program, which I have, I've, I've, I've done the strategy like that in the, in the past. Um, Magic says, uh, what a great project, would love to earn that much, uh, I'm right at the beginning with my venture, and again Magic, this is good, you know, uh, you're gonna, I'm going to take you through now the seven steps that you can use within your venture, and if you're, if you're starting off with a new business, how you can apply this to, to kickstart it, and here's the thing, you could take your business from six figures to seven figures within a couple of months, very, very easily, by applying some of these strategies, okay, um, May May Lisa, can you give more example of types of products? I'll do that, May. I'll, I'll, I'll also cover that. Um, Daniel says that's awesome. I need the. I need. Daniel says I need the push. This is perfect information. Thank you so much. Okay, brilliant, guys. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm glad you guys are finding this um, uh, beneficial. No, good, you guys. Don't don't dream it. Do it. Okay, it's it's very important. And you know, I always say one of the uh, sayings that I always have in my life is, uh, "What would I? Um, what would I? What would I do?" if I knew I could never fail, okay, um, or what would I achieve, or what would I go and do if I knew that I would never fail, so, you know, have that sort of, uh, have that sort of uh, mindset and, um, and visualization to help you at the same time, visualization is something I teach my team a lot of, and um, uh, it's very, very important, um, okay, besides, besides JVs, do you do barters, sometimes, I mean, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, Mark, when you're talking about barters, um, it, it really depends, I mean, uh, bartering is something very similar, and um, uh, Jonathan says, uh, Sahel, do you have a coaching program? I, I currently don't. I mean, I only, most of my programs are very short programs where I try and get as much uh, 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 information and, 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 and it's very intensive. So it's all about taking action and I like people to take action very quickly. So no, I currently don't have like, you know, a high-end uh, uh, business coaching program, but hey, maybe it's something that I need to look at. Okay, so let's move on. Thank you guys for those comments. So step one, first of all, ask yourself this question, okay? Why do you want to become successful? Um, here we go, guys. This is this why, this will be your reason, okay? Why you do anything. Why you wake up in the morning, why you build, why you want to build a business, uh, you know, why you want to grow a business, why you want to become a millionaire. There could be several things. It could be for your family, they could be for the lifestyle, they could be, you know, nowadays with me it's different. I love traveling, okay? So I travel and I speak, I travel and I do events, okay? For me it's really, really cool. Um, and that's one of the things I decided to do when I, when I had this big business with like 25, 30 staff and I lost it. I didn't want to go through that hassle again and I just wanted to, uh, to have the lifestyle. So one thing I want you guys to focus on, really, really focus on, and I don't preach this when I'm on stage, I don't talk uh, about, you know, how rich you can become and all that sort of stuff, yeah, you can have a successful lifestyle and a successful life, but um, don't concentrate too much on the money, okay, concentrate more on the lifestyle, concentrate on the more what it gives you and what it brings you, because I, I think that's one of the focuses that we all need to do as entrepreneurs, so again, um, you know, why do you want to become successful, or why do you want your business to be successful, why do you want to, uh, why do you want to do seven figures, you know, or why do you want to become a millionaire, it's questions I always ask people, and this why will be your reason, you know, it'll provide you with the inspiration, motivation, and drive for all those times when you won't feel like working, or when you are tempted to just give up, okay, many of us have gone through this, you know, we've built businesses, and, you know, sometimes we think to ourselves, um, you know, it's not really going anywhere, where is the business going, and, um, you know, you can have that lifestyle, you know, and some of you I've actually met personally, you are living that lifestyle in, in a small sense, um, but, um, you know, you, you, can, you can grow that and you can have any lifestyle you want. So, first thing, guys, um, ask yourself why, okay? What's the reason why you do what you do? If you haven't figured that out, you need to figure that out pretty quick because that is what's going to make you get up and work. That's what's going to make you... Uh, be more fulfilled, okay, so step one, why do you want to become successful, 
Step two, now you've got to decide that you want to be successful. Okay, it's no point in, dis in, in thinking why you want to become successful or this is what you want or I wish I had that lifestyle or I wish I was like you, Sahel. I wish I was, you know, uh, successful. I wish I was, no. You know, make being successful the number one priority in your life. In other words, you must decide to become successful. Okay, I do that all the time. You know, you make decisions to do things and one of, them's it, one of those decisions is you have to make that decision to become successful. Because a lot of people claim to have the desire to be rich, but you know what? Very few people spend their time devoted to this desire. So, you know, I, I, I mean, I have one of those traits where I have a desire to do something. I have a desire to succeed. I have a desire to be big. I desire to do, th to do things bigger. Uh, and the reason why I achieve most of that is because I spend most of my time devoted to that desire. Okay? So this is something that you need to do. What is your number one priority? Um, I know a lot of things get, in, get into our lives and, and, and make us uh, and slow us down, but you still have to have that desire. Okay? And if you have that desire, then uh, you know, that is what you'll achieve. And what I'd like you guys to do, I mean, uh, you guys, you guys are, 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 are um, quite interesting uh, looking, reading, re reading some of the, uh, the, uh, some of the, um, uh, the, the information that's been put in through. I want you to just type in the chat box what your desire is. You know, don't just say, don't, don't just tell me that your desire is to be rich, okay? That doesn't really mean much. Tell me exactly what you want in your life. What is your desire? You know, if you want to be, if you want to, and you choose to become successful, why do you want to choose to, be, to become successful? Tell me what your desires are, um, uh, and uh, you know what you what you desire. Uh, let's keep it clean, guys. Yeah. So just tell me yeah, what your what your sort of uh, what your desires are from becoming successful. So if you can just put in the chat box for me, because uh, I'd love this to be more interactive. Uh, okay, contentment. That's a good one. Uh, to be fulfilled. Okay, that's good. Uh, help others uh, at peace and volunteer. That's a good one. You know, um, uh, Danny, uh, that, that's good. You know, helping others is really great. And one of my other mottos in life is to give first and ask later. And a lot of people on this um, webinar will, will testify the fact that when they do meet me, that's all I tend to do. I, I try and give as much as I can, and I try and help people as much as I can. So that's a good one. <clears throat> to be happy and provide for my family. Yeah, that's a good one, Simon. I mean, that is uh, the ultimate, really, isn't it? Why? We all want our businesses to become successful. Uh, to live my life fully and to have the resources. Excellent. To live a meaningful life. Uh, Ruth says, I want to use my knowledge to help others grow their new businesses and overcome the obstacles that we unwittingly put in our way. Very, very true. And, uh, you know, that is, again, is, uh, you know, uh, some of the reasons why we do what we do. So, um, okay, what's this one? Help girls that are in the same situation I was growing up. Yep. Yeah, I like that one. That's a good one. Uh, my desire is to is to provide everything my family requires and help others with their lives. Uh, Judith, hi Judith. Uh, Judith says to give back while providing for my family. Yeah, that's good. You know, you guys are pretty much on the on the on the right uh, right track with that. So step two, guys, you know, decide to become successful. Okay. Um, step three is knowing exactly what you want for you and your business. Okay. Now, in this step, I want you to write down exactly what you want and be very, be very specific. Now, you've already done this, so we, we did this earlier. So you've, you've written down exactly what you want uh, and, and what you want to achieve, and, uh, and that's great. So what I want you to do here is um, also run through your ideal day, okay? On, the, on a piece of paper, write down what would a typical weekday in your ideal world look like? You know, also, what car would you be driving? What house would you be living in? Some some people uh, material uh, the material element doesn't really um, become a priority. However, some of us do um, uh, want to become successful and want to drive the nice cars and, and live in nice houses. Nothing wrong with that. It's all your hard work, and it's uh, you know it's something that you're achieving, and it's a reward. Okay, so there's there's nothing bad in that, and there's nothing bad in wanting to be be successful and wanting to be rich and wealthy as long as you help other people along the way. Uh, that that's that that's that that's certainly fine to do. Okay, so step three is knowing exactly what you want for you and your business. Now these are really important steps to create these seven figure breakthroughs and create seven figures in your business. I could teach you strategies, but it's all about you as an individual. Okay, you're responsible for your destination. Okay. 
Also use affirmations and visualize. I do this a lot. Um, this is very, very strong. Uh, a couple of you guys who are on the webinar today, I have spoken to you face to face and I know some of you actually do this and it works. You know, you become very successful and you pretty much get what you want by doing this. Okay, step four, thinking like a millionaire. Now here's the thing guys, either associate yourself with millionaires or uh, a success program. Constantly surround yourself with people that build you up and leave a positive influence on your subconscious mind. Now I'm part of many masterminds, um, I'm part of groups. Um, you don't have to pay for masterminds guys, there are groups on Facebook that you can, um, you can join for free. I met up with someone in uh, Las Vegas when I was there, uh, she's doing some phenomenal stuff, I'm really impressed with her um, uh, her journey and she's part of a mastermind which isn't a paid mastermind but it's a small group of people who basically get on the phone call now and again just to talk about what they're doing so you know and she's learned a lot from that and it's really taken her business to the next level so it's important you know you don't have to make the investment uh, you don't have to literally pay for it but you if you find a, a like-minded group of people um, who are successful um, then you know you want to definitely associate yourself with them so for this to be effective, you have to do it consistently and at least until you develop the millionaire mindset. Now, uh, it's important again to have that sort of mindset. As you can see below a couple of the photos there, Alex Mandosian uh, runs uh, T. Harvecker's Millionaire Mindset um, events and I was very fortunate enough to be invited as a VIP. And I learned a lot from the event but I knew for a fact that a lot of people in that room would not take action. So uh, until you decide to take action and be successful, um, that's when you'll be able to use some of those strategies. Step five, habits of millionaires. Now, this step is about developing the habit of success, okay? There are two important factors to consider when planning your work hours. Number one, you must analyze your strengths and weaknesses and create a plan and timetable that incorporates them. Okay, remember I told you about a lot of things that I did previously, sitting down and looking at what was uh, my strengths and weaknesses and creating a plan around that. And number two is the, the second factor relates to environment, okay? It's vital that you have the right environment to work and network in. Whether you're part of a, um, a monthly group, for example, meetup, uh, a mastermind, retreat, um, program, uh, private Facebook group, it's very important that you are interacting on a regular basis with the right people in your network. These are people who are very successful already, <coughs> and that's what will allow you to push through and create those seven-figure breakthroughs. Okay, step six, the millionaire mentor. This is the quickest, easiest, and surest way to succeed, and that's to find someone who is doing what you want to do and copy them. Okay, I did the same thing. I found Jay Abraham. Uh, what Jay Abraham was doing, I just copied exactly what he did and uh, obviously became a joint venture expert in a very short space of time. Uh, and only by doing the stuff he did. I did invest in his, one of his programs. Uh, in 2004, I went to his program in Los Angeles, uh, and since then, I've, uh, I, I've, you know, I learned a lot, and that has really helped me. And I'm, I'm really good. I'm, I do know Jay Abraham, not personally. I have spoken to him before, uh, but I'm very good friends with Spike Humor, who is Jay's right hand man. So I do have a connection in there, and um, uh, you know, I've learned a lot from it, and I regard, still regard him and many others um, as uh, as mentors for me. And uh, like they say, you know, they always say, if you want to, if you want to really get good, um, if you really want to get good at playing, um, uh, at playing tennis, you always play with someone better than you. Okay, so that's very, very important that you do that, and always find someone that can mentor you. It doesn't have to be one person; you can have many mentors. So you do this by either buying into their programs or mentoring and acting on what you learn in turn becoming associated with success quickly. Now this is, uh, if you want to get into uh, working with people who are very successful, you become part of their group or you become part of their program for example and uh, that, that helps you um, uh, you know, uh, um, basically go, go up the ladder of success. It's, it's a very old strategy that people have been doing for many years and it's the same. You know, you need that mentoring. You need someone who's been there and done it and someone who can show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, step seven, taking massive action. This is the, this, this is the final step that, and probably the most important one. You have to start acting on your plans, okay? You've done everything else until, up until now, all seven steps, but even with a mentor, okay, you're not guaranteed success because the work is still up to you, you know? 
it's very important that you uh, go through these steps and uh, go through what I've spoken about today to take action. If you put this final step into practice, uh, you're guaranteed success with your financial goals. So it's all about taking action, guys. Something that I do a lot in my life where I get breakthroughs is that when I have a significant breakthrough using the seven steps, I actually go out and do it. Now, whether it works or it doesn't work, I don't see it as failure. I see it as experience. So if something doesn't work, I'll try and tweak it until it does work. And if it doesn't work, ultimately, I'll drop it and I'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so it's very, very important you do that. So, uh, guys, let's see what we covered today in this webinar. Uh, first of all, I had to create seven-figure breakthroughs. I went through my story and told you how I did it, how I created all those uh, breakthroughs um, uh, in my business to take it up to eight figures. I should actually have uh, renamed this presentation how to create eight-figure breakthroughs, but hey. Um, asking the question why, it's very important you ask that question why you're doing what you do. Then you've got to make a decision and you've got to decide to be successful. Okay, very, very important. Knowing exactly what you want is the next step. Thinking like a millionaire, you need to have that sort of traits and, and you need to figure out how these guys think and you know how, how, do, how, do, how do guys like us become very successful. And also some of the habits that we have, what do we do, how do we do things differently. Also look at, uh, definitely get yourself a mentor, it's very, very important, or, or work with a group or a team. And also take massive action. Now, um, uh, what I want to do on, on the next slide is just, um, with your permission of course, is just uh, talk about something that I think would really benefit all of you guys on this webinar. And most and you guys who are watching the replay as well, thank you for joining us on the replay. Um, uh, and here's something that I think would be uh, highly of benefit to all of you. Now, I'm launching something called uh, my Business Breakthrough Retreat in Spain. Uh, I, this, is, uh, this is something that I'm launching. Um, and it's a new venture. And uh, it's going to be something that I'm going to be doing regularly, not only in Europe, but I'm going to take it to, to the US and hopefully take it to... Uh, Dubai, the Middle East, uh, and and make it into something that we'll be doing on a, a consistent basis. So what is the Business Breakthrough Retreat uh, Spain? Basically, it's four days of business breakthroughs. Um, you spend four days uh, with me and uh, my team in uh, a luxury villa in Spain, um, and uh, we'll be taking you through this, the, the following. Uh, day one, we'll cover you and your business purpose. Remember I said the reason why you do what you do and what is the real purpose of your business. Day two, we'll cover my favorite topic, joint ventures and business growth. I'll take you through step by step exactly what I do and how I do it. On day two, you're going to have some of the uh, training material that I actually share in my ten and $20,000 training programs. Day three, we'll look at your business growth blueprint. We'll put together a blueprint for you that you can walk away with um, uh, after the retreat and apply. And on day four, we'll take you down to my favorite place, Proto Bonus in uh, Spain. And we'll have breakfast at the harbor. As you can see below, that's where you'll see all the Ferraris and the yachts. And it'll just give you, you know, a bit of uh, enthusiasm. It'll give you a bit of uh, an insight into how, how super successful people live. So that's my business breakthrough retreat in Spain. Here's what you get for those four days. You get uh, accommodation in a luxury villa and a, and a luxury pool in, in Spain. Uh, all your transfers to and from the airport, to and from Porto Bonus are paid, and uh, the uh, food will be provided also. There'll be four live training and coaching days run by me, and we'll try and we'll see if we can get some special guests over as well to do some training on different areas. We'll be doing lots of brainstorming and networking sessions. I'll actually be putting together some live JVs while we're there, okay? So I'll be making you guys money while you're training and, and being coached. Uh, when you when we've helped you with your business growth blueprint, I'll help you 90 days after the retreat to put that into action. So you'll get 90 days of coaching support afterwards with me, which, which is worth around about sort of $10,000. You'll also get a strategy goal session before and after the retreat. And uh, we'll help you uh, create a complete growth plan of action for 2013. I believe 2013 is going to be the best year ever for not only myself, for my team, for my clients, and I want it to be the best year for you as well. I want you to write this down. Get a pen, piece of paper. Uh, here's the two dates for the retreats in Spain. The first retreat be begins 22nd of March uh, for four days. The second retreat is 26th of April, um, and that's for four days as well. So write those two dates down right now. Uh, give me a yes in the chat box when you've written those down. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah, write those two dates down. Very important. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, so those are the two dates. Now, let's go on to talk about how much, okay? How mu Here's the thing, guys. I want to ask you a question. Um, how much is it currently costing you not to grow your business? Okay, ask yourself that question. Write down the piece of paper. How much is it costing me right now uh, to stay where I am in my business and in my life right now, okay? And, and I want you to work that out. You work the figure out, and you'll be astonished at how much it is. But here's how much the actual business breakthrough retreat uh, that I'm holding in Spain is. First of all, here's the thing. Clients pay me anywhere between $10,000 to $20,000 for my three-day programs. That works out to a minimum of $3,333 a day. So if you wanted to come with me over four days, that would cost you in the region of, what, $13,000, okay? Which I, I don't want you guys paying. I, I, you're not going to pay that. What I want to do is help you help kickstart your 2013, okay? Make sure that you guys get to a level. If you're doing six figures, I want to get you to a high six figures. You're doing mid six figures, I like to push you guys to seven figures. You're doing seven figures, I like to get to eight figures. So here's the thing, guys. You don't pay that. You don't pay $13,000. If you're interested in moving ahead, today you pay only £1,997 for four days with the retreat, the accommodation, the transfers, the food, the training, the uh, everything. Or uh, two split payments of £999, okay? But here's the amazing thing. If, if, you, if you and your partner run a business together, or if you and your partner are interested in coming to one of my retreats, guess what? You can bring your partner for free. The reason I did this is because I wanted to add immense value. I, I want you guys to make the investment. I mean, you can even split this between two of you if you wanted to, and it works out cheaper. But you can bring a partner for free to any of my retreats, then uh, the next one we're doing now is in Spain uh, on those two dates, uh, 22nd of March and 26th of April. I've, I only have five places available right now per retreat. The, the, the place that I'm using is a six-bedroom, double-bedroom villa. Uh, in the future, we'll, we will use a, a, larger, um, a larger location. And I've just noticed I've just uh, I've, um, spelled partner wrong. But hey, I, I'm sure you can understand that it says bring a partner for free. Only five places available per retreat. Now, here's what I want you to do right now. If you're interested, um, go to this website, www.businessbreakthroughretreat.com forward slash webinar offer. Now, make sure you type that in because if you go to the standard uh, um, website, you won't see this offer on there. On the standard website, I'm charging people to bring their partner, okay? But for those of you guys on this webinar, this is only a special offer for you on this webinar that if you want to come to this retreat, uh, four days plus the uh, bonus day, a uh, bonus in Porto Benus, um, and uh, it's on the 22nd of March and 26th of April. Go to that URL, businessbreakthroughretreat.com forward slash webinar offer. Okay, that's that that page is hidden right now, but it's for you guys. Go to that website, have a look at the details for the retreat. Scroll to the bottom if you're interested. Uh, then uh, sign up because look, I've only got five places. As soon as they go, I'm going to have to take it off the website because we can't accommodate more than that. Five individual places or five couples. And like I said, if you've got a partner, you can bring that partner for free. Um, <coughs> this is the first of many retreats I'll be doing. The first ones are, are in Spain. We'll be doing some in the US and I'm hoping we can do some over in Dubai and the Middle East as well. Um, so guys, um, if you've got any more, more if you've got any questions for me, if there's any questions I can help you answer in terms of breakthroughs, uh, please put them in the chat box um, uh, and or any questions on the webinar or even any questions about the retreat, um, put them in the chat box, ask me a question and um, uh, I'm here guys, I'm here to answer those sort of questions for you. So if you've got any questions, because uh, all of you are still on the webinar, so obviously you're waiting for something. I'm not going to be bringing up anything else on the webinar. Um, <laughs> so if there's questions you have, fire the questions away, um, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll happily answer any questions for you guys while we're on the webinar. We still have a few minutes left. If not, then uh, go to the website, businessbreakthroughretreat.com forward slash, forward slash webinar offer uh, for this offer. I've only got five places, and they will go very, very quickly. As you know, most of my, uh, most of my events do get sold out. Um, this one will get sold out because we only have five spots. Once they're taken, they're gone. That's why I'm specifically doing two dates for this one. Um, so if anyone's got any questions about the webinar, 
about the retreat. Daniel says, uh, thank you so much for your webinar. I really appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to uh, your U.S. locations. Yeah, um, I, 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 I'm trying to figure out. We, we may do one. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is a big um, – I have access to um, a, a mansion in Tampa, and we, 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 we've got one in Las Vegas as well. So probably be one of those two destinations, and that will probably be uh, September, October time. But this one we're doing right now is in Spain. I know there's a couple of guys from the U.S. who actually want to fly in for it, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, guys, any more questions about the retreat uh, or about the seven steps or about um, uh, – Judith says, when do you think you'll come to Dubai? Well, I think probably end of the year, Judith, hopefully. Um, once we've done the U.S. one, we may uh, do it back-to-back -back with the one in U.S. Um, okay. Um, Manager says – Hi, Sahel. My business offers a service which I provide to clients and not a product. Would JV still work? Yes, definitely. Uh, JVs would work. And you can use services uh, for JVs because at the end of the day, you can sell a service through a website and you can fulfill the service. So you can still do joint ventures. Um, someone else has asked, where is this retreat again? This retreat is in Marbella in Spain. Uh, the retreat is actually going to be in Marbella. So you would fly into Malaga Airport and uh, transfers will be uh, provided, accommodation and food as well. Someone's asked, what about the UK? Yeah, I mean, we oh, yeah, we could do something in the UK, but um, I think the problem with the UK is we don't have the weather. Um, I wanted to do one in Spain because we have access to a, a beautiful villa and the weather's nice as well. And I think retreats, mm, when you think of retreat, I don't really think you would think of staying in the UK. You'd probably want to be going abroad somewhere sunny. Um, okay, excellent. Any more questions? Okay, brilliant. Okay, that's it then. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for coming onto my webinar today. I really hope you learned something from it, and I'd like you to go go onto Facebook and uh, give me your feedback, your thoughts. Let let everyone know what you thought about the webinar. Um, if you want to get in touch with me personally, just uh, message me on Facebook, um, and I'll gladly ask any of your questions there. Uh, many thanks to Hell. That was uh, that was an amazing webinar, and I look forward to your retreat. Uh, brilliant guys thank you very much and guys have a lovely evening afternoon wherever you are and for those of you watching the replay thank you very much uh, please go over to the website url businessbreakthroughretreat.com forward slash webinar offer and do that quickly guys because when those five places are gone i'm going to take the page down and so uh, don't blame me if you go over to it and uh, those spots aren't available anymore all right guys so thank you very much and um, i'll speak to you guys all soon Bye-bye.